use a deviation for its purpose, a failure in the process. If you've got a failure that's happening in a recurrent basis, fix it. Don't just allow the machine to fail again and again and again and again. Just because you want to make sure that you utilize your equipment at a high level. Fix the problem, do the maintenance and address it. Now, if you're getting lots and lots of minor deviations regularly, you should be tracking them. Put on the wall where everybody can see how often you're raising a deviation. And then just do a simple trend analysis. Have we got an increase in number of minor deviations? So maybe in one month you've got five. And of that category in the next month you've got 10. And in the next month you've got 30. Well, something's going wrong because you've got an increase in trend. Investigate. Now the process, the procedure that you've got probably says minor deviations, document them, put them away, carry on. But if you can see an increase in trend and then you investigate earlier than it goes through to the product quality review, then you're going to end up with an, a more efficient process. So always consider, OK, I've got a deviation. What's the impact of this deviation? The impact of this deviation, well, I can just get it signed off and it'll go through. But is it really more than I realize? Is it putting it through as a minor deviation, just covering up a bigger problem? Should it really be a major deviation because it's actually impacting the product, but it's being fixed as you go along by changing it? Maybe the classification should have been higher and you should have been addressing it in the first place. Or maybe your minor deviations are an evidence of a, of a failure trend. So temperature management, for example, if the compressor is failing over time, then you'll get an increasing number of excursions. Now, as that goes worse and worse and worse, and you're getting more and more deviations, you're having to investigate again and again and again. And maybe you're only doing a slight deviation. Maybe it's going above the uh, warning limit, but not above the action limit. Well, as it's doing that, you want to fix it before you get the failure that causes you to reject the product. So all I'm really saying is use the data that you're gathering to make decisions. Deviations are there to document the problem, yes. But when you've got a problem, you need to make a decision. Do I fix it now or do I fix it when it becomes a bigger problem?